Welcome to Macrofinance. Today, we are starting our exploration of the Phillips curve with the first part of the two-part series. Let's begin by laying down the theoretical groundwork. The Phillips curve represents an economic theory describing the relationship between inflation and unemployment. It was in 1958 when New Zealand economist William Phillips empirically analyzed UK data to discover that there exists an inverse relationship between inflation and unemployment. The Phillips curve mechanism depends on the state of the business cycle. During economic expansion, demand for labor rises, production costs increase, as well as prices. When we say that demand for labor rises, it means that unemployment decreases. Similarly, when we say that overall prices increase, it means that inflation increases. Of course, the mechanism is the opposite in the case of economic recession. This is theoretical Phillips curve scatter plot with inflation on y axis and unemployment on x axis. The Phillips curve represents a short run relationship illustrated here with only 10 years of data points. The inverse relationship is manifested in the downward sloping curve, signifying that as unemployment falls, inflation increases. Initially, the inverse relationship was so strong that policy choices were made based on the model, deciding between lower in unemployment or lower inflation. However, the Phillips curve model was contested during the 70s when simultaneous economic recession increased inflation and unemployment occurred. Consequently, policymakers had to resort to different measures to stabilize the economic situation. But despite its limitation, the Phillips curve remains a fundamental concept in economics. The static Phillips curve, which was initially used, has the following formula. On the left-hand side is the inflation, while on the right-hand side there are the intercept Phillips curve coefficient, unemployment, and the error term. All data with subscript T signify that they refer to the current period. Remember that beta 1 represents the Phillips curve coefficient, which is very important for testing hypotheses in empirical research. Next is the expectations augmented Phillips curve, which differs from the previous equation by the addition of two new variables, expected inflation and the natural rate of unemployment. It is assumed that expectations about uh, inflation in the current period rely on the known inflation from the previous period. The natural rate of unemployment is considered a constant. With all this in mind, and after rearrangement, the equation is as follows. On the left-hand side is the first difference of inflation, while the right-hand side remains unchanged, as in the static Phillips curve model. Empirical research relating to the Phillips curve tests the null hypothesis, which states that there is no relationship between inflation and unemployment, or in other words, that beta 1 is zero. The alternative hypothesis posits that beta 1 is less than zero, indicating an inverse relationship, or trade-off, between inflation and unemployment. In the second part of the video lecture on the Phillips curve model, the testing of hypotheses will be practically explained, starting with data collection, scatter plotting, and OLS estimation.
For those interested in delving deeper into the theoretical foundation of the Phillips curve, the references provided here are a good starting point. Thank you for your attention and see you soon for the second part of the lecture.